What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we're back with another Hidden Fates opening. Last time we opened an ETB instead of just tins, and that worked out pretty well. So we got yet yeah, another tin and one of these great ball collection boxes featuring the Zorark. And so we still need two non GX shinies, eight GX shinies, and a handful of full art supporters and gold cards. It's been a while since we opened one of these. They take a little bit to get into. Uh, let's begin. Kind of have to work for these. Let's do this. All right, we are all set. We got Gyarados and Zorark. Such a good card, although, but the very or basically the same exact ability soon to come in Sword and Shield from Mincino and Mincino, Mincino, and then 14 packs. Here's a couple code cards. All right, let's begin. I believe the four on top are from the tin, and then ten after that will come from the Great Ball Collection Box. So tins have been pretty good to us. The Great Balls have been, I feel like they were very hit or miss. Either really good or very disappointing with some like absolutely terrible openings. But some absolutely fire openings, including the shiny Charizard that we pulled. First pack, we have a Zapdos and LT Surge. So for the non-GX Shinies, we need Buzzwall and Zorua. And then for the Shiny GXs, we have a whole good number of them. So hopefully we can get start knocking some of those GXs. I'm pretty confident we can get the non-GX Shinies eventually. The GXs are a little worrisome, and then the other ones will be... <laughs> I'll be happy if we get any of them. Wimpod, shiny, and you can tell this comes from the tin. Oh, actually, look, we got the textured one. Definitely my preference over the super glossy. Uh, however, the edges are still very hard to describe, but you can just kind of feel it. It's like kind of tilted up a little bit. Shiny Wimpod, textured Wimpod, very nice. And this would be pack number three for the tin. Hope everyone's having a good day. Here we go. Brock, Misty. I feel like that combination comes up a lot. Brock, Misty, and Joy. Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Pinsir GX. Okay, all right. Super boring card. And then, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nihilego. I think this is the, one of the ones we need. Um, as far as the art goes, to be honest, it's a little boring. I feel like there's a lot of white on this. I guess it is different compared to, I believe it's purple normally. And uh, I'll be right back. Let me see if this is one of the ones we need. All right, great news. We are only three packs into the opening, and we did get one of the GXs. So we went from eight that we need down to seven. All right, and that was a double pack. We got a pincer and the Nihilego. All right. It's hard to remember because there's so many shinies. It's one of those things where when when you're told or when you see the card you need, it's like, oh yeah, I knew that was in the set. But then when you need to name it and there's, you know, 94 <laughs> cards in the shiny vault set, it's hard to pick them. Pick them out. Geodude. Misty. And then a Clef Fairy. So that should have been. So that is from the tin. We got a Wimpod, Pincer, and then Nihilego. I'm calling that a victory. Man, those Black Friday tins, they are great. And so this one is the from the Great Ball. And don't remember when we picked this one up, so it's not much. It's going to be no clue what kind of like print run this was or which phase it was. But uh, yeah, these ones are super hit or miss. Let's see how we do. Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, just a golem, two armed golem, and Zergatree shiny. Nice. And no, this one's not textured. You can't really feel it, but uh, it's not the super glossy one. Zergatree. All right, that's hit number four for this opening. So doing very well. That was not one of the ones we need, but uh, hey, we got a hit. As long as we keep getting stuff in that reverse slots, 
We'll eventually get there. Hopefully. Magmar, Charmeleon, Graveler, that, that. Now onto the forearms for some reason. Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Wigglytuff GX, and Clefairy. I thought it was gonna be Jigglypuff, but I guess it's like when you pull a Wigglytuff, that's a, the nice, uh, most interesting outcome. If you're not gonna get a hit in the reverse slot, it's like, oh, we got a Jigglypuff into the Wigglytuff. Slightly better than the Clefable and <laughs> the Clefairy. Alright, we got Koga. T Surge. Misty. Coughing. Cubone. Geodude. Slowpoke. Clefairy. And then Mew is our rare. Followed by just a coughing. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And uh, yeah. If you're not already subbed, why aren't you subbed? <laughs> hit that thing, hit that sub button, bell for notifications, and here we go into the next one. Misty's Gym, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, a Clefairy, Zapdos number two, I believe. Ooh, Bayonet. This is one that we already have, but uh, Bayonet always looks pretty cool. Pretty off-center card. Definitely would not send us in the PSA. It's not probably not a super popular one. So a little texturing, which I'm disappointed. Whenever we play PTCGO and I see a XY full art for whatever reason, like you can see the texturing on the card, and definitely am a big fan of that, and less of a fan of how it seems to every set now. It seems like it's getting less and less. I would. Uh, I would be pleasantly surprised if when Sword and Shield drops, if they kind of have go back to, you know, the much heavy texturing that we had in the past. Geodude, Kangaskhan, and Snorlax. Taking a good nap right there. One thing about th these prints is sometimes when you see it, like, you can kind of see like there's a line so I do think we're gonna have something in this pack but uh, in the more recent printings that was very much less the case so I got a good feeling Voltor, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, ah then another Snorlax there we go and oh I was wrong just the wheezing it must have just been a little bit of curling from the reverse. So this box has been sitting um, on the side for quite some bit of time. Maybe that was just enough time for the, the reverse slot to start curling. And that's what created that line that I thought was going to be a hit. So I'm not going to lie, I'm a little let down. Alright, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp. Vaporeon, always need a Vaporeon, unfortunately, and a Reverse Energy. Okay, so far we kind of got like three hits, none of them that great, plus a Reverse Energy. So that's, this definitely feels on the weaker side as far as these 10-pack uh, products go. We still have three packs remaining. Come on, let's end off strong. Giovanni, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, a Snother Snorlax, and then a Beldum. We have a good amount of Beldums. Unfortunately, Beldum's not bad, but uh, when it comes to like trades and stuff, he's not one that people ask for. It's not the not the textured one. All right, but either way, no matter what, this is a win of an opening because we did get one card that we needed, and it was a shiny GX. So I am very satisfied with the results of this opening. All right, Joy, Scyther, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Arbuck is our rare. Ooh, Magneton. Actually, this one I don't have too many of. And I do like the gold. It's not bad. 
and it's just that regular printing. Okay, so now I'm pretty satisfied. I've uh, got that five hits for the great ball box. So good numbers, no massive hits, but good enough. And let's see if we can't end it with a bang. Misty again, Jinx, Joy, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Eevee is our rare. So we still have a ways to go, but I'm glad we're one step closer to that master set. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to keep going. Um, I don't think we're going to keep going till we finish the set, but we're going to try for a while. <laughs> Not sure how long, but thanks for watching guys. Ah, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.